We're here to see the Canva Box 25th Anniversary Reunion Show. This is night two, this is the 22nd. Never been to Paramount before, this place is amazing. It turned 90 this year. I haven't been to Seattle in two years, so it reminded me why I don't like cities. Just trying to get here. But we're gonna head into our seats and stuff now. Hello everyone. So, it's taken me a long time to sit down and do this video. Well, actually I did sit down and do this video, but my camera, there's a problem with the mic port where the camera plugs in. 
didn't record any of the audio, so this is a redo and why it's been taking me so long to release this video. But in July, I went and saw Candlebox at the Paramount Theater in Seattle for their 25th anniversary shows. I went on the second night, which was Sunday. Um, it was the day after I returned from my Utah road trip. And it was amazing. So, it was my first time ever at the Paramount and it was just such a beautiful venue. And it was also my first time seeing Candlebox play live. And I've listened to Candlebox for a long time. I think that Candlebox's first album is one of the best albums of all time. And it was just amazing to hear them play that from beginning to end. Well, they played it from end to beginning in backwards order, but just amazing, amazing show. Kevin can sing like no one else. I mean, especially for his age, and just knowing that most of the other vocalists from the 80s and 90s, they've lost their voice, they can't really sing and hit the high notes or scream anymore, for the most part. Kevin just goes out there, he gives it his all, and it sounds amazing. Uh, it, was, it was an amazing show. It's probably one of my favorite concerts that I've been to. Just amazing, amazing job. And then of course, Green Apple Quick Step and Sweetwater opened. They were both celebrating their 25th anniversaries of their first albums as well. I've listened to both of those bands for quite a few years. Green Apple Quick Step, I only know the Wonderful Virus album, and they didn't play very many songs. I think only one song from that album, so I didn't find their set that interesting. Sweetwater went after, and I love Sweetwater. My mom has their first album, so I've listened to that many times. And then for like a year or two, I've been listening to their Super Friends album. And I just love all their music. I discovered their new single a few weeks ago, and they played that at the show as well. So I knew a lot of the stuff Sweetwater played. I sang along. It was a lot of fun. They sound the same as they did in the 90s, and that's amazing. So all in all, it was a great show. I really enjoyed listening to all three bands and just being there. Parking was a disaster, but it all worked out in the end. So I didn't put in a lot of clips of the bands performing because I want to avoid as many copyright strikes as possible. I am going to try to remember this time to upload as many of those concert clips that I shot, which weren't entire songs, they were just bits and pieces, but putting those onto the music channel that Justin and I started a long time ago. I haven't uploaded anything, anything to it in years, but I can put a link in the description and I'll upload some of those so you can actually watch because that, ch that channel has so many copyright strikes, it doesn't matter. But this channel I try to keep without any, I try to keep it copyright strike free. Thanks for watching, until next time.